Bamberg is an outstanding historical city. Its old town is a UNESCO recognized protected zone and it has a great deal to offer the visitor. Like Rome, with which you will see and feel the similarities on visiting, it is built on seven hills. Cathedral Hill, Michelsberg, Kaulberg Oberpfarrer, Stephensburg, Jakobsburg, Altenburg and Abtsburg. Once run by Prince Bishops, each hill is crowned with a church and this demonstrates quite clearly just who was in charge. To the visitor it may seem as though the river is an important part of the lifeblood of the city. The Regnit is not a long river, but it splits into two, thus appearing to be everywhere, and it flows into the mine near Bamberg. The Rhine, Main, Danube Canal also passes near the city. I left my motorhome at a campsite on the southern part of Bamberg and cycled in following the river and also using my bicycle to explore the area between the branches of the river and the canal. I was fortunate to visit in June which I suspect could be the best time of the year to visit. Bamberg was first mentioned in 902 CE and its name comes from the Bambenberg family. The Holy Roman Emperor Henry II ordered the building of a cathedral which was consecrated on 6th of May 1012. The church was enriched with gifts from the Pope and Henry had it dedicated in honour of him. In 1017 Henry also founded Michelsburg Abbey on the Michelsburg and another Mont Saint Michel like those in Normandy and Cornwall. This Michelsburg in Bamberg was used for the training of the clergy. When the Pope was visiting, he consecrated some of Bamberg's churches, and it would be fair to say that Bamberg was at the centre of the Holy Roman Empire at the time. Both Emperor Henry and his wife, Königmunde, were buried in the cathedral. From the middle of the 13th century onwards, the bishops ruled the Holy Roman Empire. This benefited Bamberg and left us with some of the magnificent buildings we see today particularly around the area of the cathedral. We also see in Bamberg some of the excesses of the church. The city is noted for the witch trials of the 17th century which claimed about 1,000 victims in Bamberg alone and they reached a climax between 1626 and 1631 under the rule of Prince Bishop Johann Georg Fuchs von Dornheim. I've done a separate video on this subject which you might also wish to see. In 1803 the Holy Roman Empire was wound up by Napoleon and Bamberg became part of Bavaria. It had then a population in excess of 200,000 people. Bamberg was first connected to the German rail system in 1844 which has been an important part of its infrastructure ever since. After a communist uprising took control over Munich in the years following World War I, the state government fled to Bamberg. The first Republican constitution of Bavaria was passed in this city. In 
February 1926, Bamberg served as the venue for the Bamberg Conference convened by Adolf Hitler in his attempt to foster unity and stifle dissent within the Nazi party, which was then some time before its seizure of power. Bamberg was chosen for its location in Upper Franconia, reasonably close to where some of these uh, main supporters of Hitler lived, including himself, because he was then living in Munich, but it was relatively close to those who were dissidents who were largely in the area of Berlin. In a way, it's almost meeting them halfway. I'm going to look at the Bamberg Conference also in a separate video. Bamberg escaped significant damage during World War II, but it could have been here where German resistance leader Klaus von Stauffenberg had the idea to use the Valkyrie plan as a means of overthrowing the Nazis. In the fa film Valkyrie from uh, 2008, we see Stauffenberg at home uh, in Bamberg with his wife, taking shelter as bombers pass overhead whilst the children are playing at being Valkyries and Valkyrie's music is playing on the record player. Stauffenberg's home was at Schutzenstrasse 20 in Bamberg and his widow lived there after the war. We can see a monument to Stauffenberg in the town in a very prominent position on the Rathaus, the town hall. There are also underground tunnels beneath the town. These were originally constructed as mines which supplied sandstone which could be used for construction or as an abrasive cleaner. Mining came to an end in 1920, but a 12 km tunnel is still there today. These tunnels were used as air raid shelters during World War II, and part of the network can still be visited today on a guided tour, and you can ask about that at the tourist office. Whereas I did say that there wasn't too much damage done to Bamberg during the Second World War, the canal was actually damaged, and the uh, Danube Mine uh, Canal wasn't really reopened until around 1992, you know, linking once more the uh, Black Sea with the North Sea. In my opinion, the most curious building in Bamberg is the Oberbrücke, which was completed in 1455. Halfway across it, on an island, is the Rathaus, that's the town hall which in its current state largely dates to 1756, although it does look somewhat older. Bamberg is known for its beer and it's home to nine breweries. Oh, and I should mention also, it's got a very lively atmosphere at night in the summer. And I imagine it's got a lively atmosphere all the year round as well. But I was there in June.
Thank <laughs> you.